Hello and welcome back to my channel, Venelicious C. Well, this morning or today, I'm coming to you with uh, another idea. A veggie soup, my way. So today, I'll be making my ingredients that I need today is lentil, quinoa, potatoes, and squash. That's what we'll be using today. So I'm going to start off by making my water boil. So I'm going to start off with like a half a cup of lentil. You can add more depending on how thick you want your soup to be. So I don't want my soup to be too thick. I need some liquid in my soup. So I'm starting with like probably half to three quarter cups of lentil and I'm going to make this boil. So I'm using one of the biggest size pots that I have and as you can see my water has already started boiling and I'm just adding my lentils in there. Boiling and I'm adding my lentils in there. Be adding my scallion. And my garlic so I will be squashing my garlic so this is like four or three garlic Turn it in my soup okay so these are my squash that I'm using I have half left over from previous uses and this is my pumpkin that I'm using. So I have gone ahead and I have prepped my squash. I prepped them like really tiny so these can do for my soup so I'm gonna boil them with my lintel so that they'll like like be all gone. So this is what will give the soup the body so it will be like thick and creamy. So. This is very important in the soup, okay? So I'll be adding this to my lintel and let it boil. So lintels take like 40 to 45 minutes to cook. So we're just gonna leave that and let that boil and let that cook and simmer down, okay? So now my, my chickpeas and my squash is done cooking so I'm going to show you what it looks so this is what it looks like like my lintel is all done cooking and stuff like that so now I'm going to like uh, take a fork and squash <laughs> squash my squash yes so now I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to squash this out squashing my squash for texture of my soup Oops.
Okay, so now I'm gonna be adding my quinoa to my soup. So that's like three quarter cups of quinoa. And for the best part, I love my corn on the cob in my soup. It gives my soup lots of flavor and I like it. So I'm just going to add my corn on the cob to my soup. My Chinese yam. They're all cut in cubes. And more pumpkin and more squash. So now I'll be adding a little bit more water. Add some more water to it. and let it simmer so now I have reduced my flame a little bit and now I'm going to be adding my favorite veggie stock to my soup I'm gonna be adding some chili powder because I don't have my hot pepper today so I'm just gonna add in some chili powder this is totally optional totally optional Just removing my green onions. So my soup is almost done. It looks really good. I'm just going to leave this to simmer for another 5 to 10 minutes and then it will be done. I'm just going to taste it to see where I'm at with flavor. Okay, <clears throat> that's pretty good. I don't have to add anything else. So I'll just leave this to simmer for another five minutes, then we'll be done. So now I'm going to show you what my soup looks like. It's pretty easy, and I would like you to try it. And if you try it, let me know. So like, comment, and subscribe. And let me show you what the finish looks like. So that's my veggie soup look at all my quinoa my lentils my squash my corn on the cob my Chinese yam that is beautiful and there we have it and this is gonna be my dinner so Thank you guys for watching. 
and I hope you'll continue to watch and to see some of the ideas that I come up with. So until next time, this is Vanilla Shasti. Thank you so much.